Hi guys, I'm Ryan with Airframes Alaska. Today we're at our Palmer campus and we're gonna be talking about the tailwheel shimmy dampener. So Doug, do you wanna give us an update on where we're at with the tailwheel shimmy dampener? Yeah, yeah, so I think we have like almost 200 in the field. Okay. So we've got a lot of test articles out there, got good results. Uh, there was a few iterations. So when we originally designed this, we approved it for 200 different makes and models of aircraft. Right. So obviously we didn't install that on all the 200 aircraft. So uh, as they got installed in the field, we found a couple of issues. Um, the first one was with bush wheels. As the tailwheel swung around, it made contact here. So we basically just moved this up a little bit and made got clearance. Okay. Uh, another one was with the Cessna 170. The tail spring on the 170 is a little different, so we had to make a different um, adapter plate for that tail spring. Um, and then most recently on very extreme shimmy uh, in the field where it's very, very violent, this um, pin has sheared. Okay. And so we've upgraded that to a, a stronger stainless steel material to avoid that. So I think at this point we have no known issues. It's working very, very well. It's handling even uh, more violent shimmies than we thought it would. So it's all, all good so far. So could you just give us a little overview of how this actually works? Sure, it's a hydraulic dampener. And uh, this is a cutaway version of, of this unit, same thing. Um, it has a rotary vein that goes back and forth. And basically what we're trying to establish is resistance right at the center point. We don't want resistance as we get off the center on either directions. So you can't see it from here, but this gap opens up as we get farther away, so it allows less hydraulic resistance. The gap is really thin right there. That's where the resistance is. So it's filled with hydraulic fluid through these uh, ports on both sides, and it's got an O-ring seal around everything. So there really should not be any real maintenance. The critical thing is that um, we at the factory here need to make sure there's no air in the fluid. So we purge the air, we bleed the air, just like you would have brakes. Um, so we don't really recommend that you have to deal with anything. If you see hydraulic fluid seeping, then we know we have a leak from a seal. Then it's probably best just to send it to us and we'll rebuild it for you. Um, it's just a seal and we'll, we'll bleed it for you. But if you do want to bleed it, basically use gravity. You, you open these ports on both ends and hold it vertically in the center and then just push fluid from the bottom out until you get no air bubbles. And then what you want when it's all done, you want to have some resistance right in the center, but easy at the ends. And that's the, kind of the goal. It's pretty simple. Um, this is a rotary dampener. The nose wheel aircraft have linear dampeners. Um, the goal here is just to have resistance right in the center point. We don't want to add any pilot load on the pedals, anywhere else. Got it. And you can't even feel it in the, as a pilot. It's so m mild. Could we talk about the tail spring? Um, is there limitations to what the shimmy dampener will work with with tail springs? Basically, anything that the 3200 or 3400 will take, okay. this will accommodate. Okay. So uh, it'll accommodate our new titanium tail spring for the Cub. Got it. Um, we sell Cessna 180-185 tail springs, all that company and will accept all the OEM tail springs. Um, like I said before, the Cessna 170 has a unique tail spring, but we've got a, a fix for that that is, comes with your kit. So people can use this both off airport and on pavement. So are we experienced people using it in both scenarios? Yes. Um, most chimneys happen on pavement. Right. And our baby bush wheel is notorious for generating shimmy. So pavement, baby bush wheel is kind of the worst scenario. Um, and it's, there's a lot of factors involved here. There's the camber of the, the arch of the spring. There's the maintenance of the tail spring. There's the looseness of the pivot pin. There's a lot of variables that go into making shimmy. Um, so this product basically just kind of masks all those things. Because mm -hmm. over time, the arch changes, the tail wheel gets worn out. So rather than chase all those things all the time, we just put this on and mask everything and make Got everything it. go away. Okay. 
So you had you said that the baby bush wheel is notorious for shimmy. So do you feel like we've solved the shimmy with the baby bush wheel with the tailwheel shimmy dampener? I feel we have. I mean, every airplane is different. They all have different issues. So just come out and say that we've got 100% solved. Uh, might be a little bit of a stretch. Yeah. It could be true. I don't I don't have any data that did not support that, but mm -hmm. I don't know if I want to go on the limb and say that we've solved every shimmy. Sure, sure. Um, and again, it's only usable on the Scott and ABI 3200 and 3400 tailwheels okay. assemblies. Okay, and so if somebody does get a tailwheel shimmy dampener from us and they're still experiencing shimmy, what is the first thing that you tell them to look at? Is there an installation thing or...? Yeah, recently it's been this this pin, it's been shearing. So, but I think that's solved. Uh, everyone's getting new pins um, from now on. And if yours breaks, if you have one, let us know and we'll replace, the, replace that for you. But um, the, that pin and then this, this uh, pivot nut. So over time, these tail wheels wear and that needs to be tightened up or loosened up in a weather case over time. So that's a critical thing to, to, to adjust. And then obviously look for this pin to be sheared. Okay. Um, those are the most important things. Okay. Also on installation, it's really critical that this arm be perpendicular to the longitudinal axis of the aircraft, as well as the steering arm. So what that does is it allows for the breakout to happen. If it's not lined like that, it might not break out and might do some damage. Got it. So that's clearly explained in the installation instructions. So the tailwheel shimmy damper that we have, you said, can fit maybe up to 200 different model airplanes. Um, what is the most common that we've seen so far? And what are some different models that people are maybe not expecting it to work for. What, just give us an Well, uh, it, we've learned that the Citabria has a nasty shimmy. So we sell lots of Citabrias. Um, so that's really changing that whole airplane, making the airplane enjoyable again to fly. So shimmy from a pilot's perspective is very, perspective is very annoying, mm -hmm. but from an airframe perspective, it's uh, very detrimental to, and can cause damage. Sure. So. Uh, there's two factors that we're trying to eliminate here. Uh, the most obvious is the pilot feels this shimmy. It's very uncomfortable. The passengers feel it. Mm -hmm. um, but also airframe damage is, is a real thing that happens. Mm -hmm. this is, these are very violent uh, shakes, fatigue your airframe. Um, there's videos of shimmies that have the fabric wrinkling on airplanes. So it's, it's a real thing. Okay, got it. So um, I just want to let everybody know too, if you contact our team, have questions about the tailwheel shimmy dampener, whether you already have it or you're thinking about buying it, we have actually directed a lot of those questions uh, personally to you, Doug, and you're answering them uh, directly to the customer. Correct, yeah. I want to know exactly what's going on in the field. And those are the three issues um, that we've experienced. I think we've rectified them all. Um, and we've got good reviews so far. Great. Well, thanks for your time. If you have questions about the tailwheel shimmy dampener, please send us a message at info at airframesalaska.com. Otherwise, you can call us at 907-331-4480. But we'd love to talk to you about the tailwheel shimmy dampener. Thanks.